Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Tommy. Hey, Kevin. How are you? So you guys are thinking ceilings today. Coffered ceilings at that, and a That's lot nice. of them. That's a nice touch. So what we started with was, remember, we put this beam in. And this is an 18-inch beam, and that holds the second floor. But the problem is, is that we hang down into the room four inches. Right. So that defines the space and, and change, you know, we've got a living room and dining room here. It defines the space, but we need to use the coffered ceiling to disguise that beam and right. we're going to create a system to do that. So coffered ceiling from this beam going this way? Exactly. Right. So, got it. So you have that heavy beam right there, that 18 inch beam. That's, that's the carrying beam, but it defines these two spaces. All right. And in terms of the profile that we are going to look at, you guys made us this? Well, it's actually not really for you, but it's nice to see <laughs> what it's going to look like. But this is key when you're laying out a ceiling like this. It's good to make the actual size. So it's just made out of one by five stock, one by five stock, five quarter stock, and the crown moldings. The idea of this is we can take it, lay it on the floor, the amount of beams that we need, measure from that, and then transfer all those measurements to the ceiling. Everything will be right on. We ready for layout? Yes, we are. Now this piece here represents the piece that's going to go along the side of that beam there. There's going to be another one on the other side, and then we'll fill it in with a piece of finished trim. Yep. Okay, and we place that right on the floor, just like this, in the orientation that it goes. So that's our left edge in this room. Right. On that side. So this side we have, we're actually going to step it off to create half a beam off this wall. So we've simulated half inch, which is our drywall, and then the half beam, which goes like that. Right. Now we have to divide this space up three, in three spaces equally. Yep. And the easiest way to do that is take these, put them up against the face of that, and we're going to measure from the face of those pieces on this side. So this is your point, Tommy, that these mock-ups weren't for me. These are your actual no, measurements. they were definitely not for you. <laughs> so this is the sort of total of your negative space? Right. It's 12 foot. A little over a quarter of an inch. We divide that by three. We have 48 and a 16, 48 and a 16, 48 and a 16. Perfectly divided right down here. So that's where we end up with our new beams. Everything else is the negative right. space. So now we'll place those in the position that they go down here. We'll divide up our space. Let's hold this at 48 and a 16 here. So, Garrett, if you put yours to 48 and a 16, Jeff, that's what you should be left over with? Exactly. 48 and a 16. All right, now that our pieces are all set exactly where they're going to go, we have to transfer all those measurements to the other side of the room. What we don't want to measure, we're actually going to use a layout stick to transfer the measurements. A story pole for coffered ceiling, Tommy? A story pole is always smart because if you have a measurement off, even if it's an eighth or a quarter of an inch, it's not going to be right. All right, so now we'll just take this and push it tight against the outside wall down there, and we can lay it, lay it on the floor and transfer the marks to the floor, or just leave it there and use those lines. So with the laser, once it's lined up with the line on that end and down here on our stick, it will also transfer a line right up to the ceiling, and we'll know exactly where the beams need to go. So the pieces that are going on the ceiling now actually find a location for this beam, but it also holds the top of the beam in the right orientation, and it also will give you a place to fasten to if you need to. So when I put it up there, Jeff will slide it around there, and you can see how it looks. It's gonna go right up there, just like that. 177 and 5 eighths. All right, so this layout, you can start to see the car for design right here. You have a big rectangle. The beams will be built in place. And the nice thing about this opening, it's 48 inches wide. So a sheet of plywood will fit right in there, and it's short enough so there'll be no seams anywhere. No seams, no plaster. It's going to be a nice painted look. Exactly. Tommy and Jeff started work on our coffered ceiling. You can see that the three-quarter painted prime went in. That represents our faux beams. The mineral wool was put in the ceiling for sound dampening, and now that actual ceiling surface is going in, Tommy. Not plaster, but in this case, wood. Wood. Uh, and Jeff chose a one-by-six poplar. 
Mm -hmm. It's a V groove, tongue and groove also. Yeah. And on the back side, it has a beaded edge. So there's V groove and beaded edge also. Although we're not showing the beaded edge, you've got the flat side um, out here. Right. Jeff wants a nice flat ceiling, but he wants to celebrate the joints or the seams. That's why it's V groove. So most of the coffers are filled in time for the crown molding, it looks like? Yeah, we're getting ready for the crown molding. As soon as the board's up in this bay here, we're going to try something different, though. So instead of coping, we're going to take these units and picture frame it, put it up as one unit. We're going to put some glue, we'll tack it with a pin nailer, and then we'll actually drill a hole and put a screw in it. Pretty good. That looks good. So with this picture frame idea, no coping involved, so that right. speeds it up a little bit. Yeah, when you have a small series of squares here, it's just quicker to do it this way. Obviously, you wouldn't do a whole room on the table and put it up. So now I'm going to drill a hole, I'm going to hold that right where it goes, just like that, and put a screw in here, right through the back. Yep, a little more, a little more, good. Well, that pulled it together nice and tight. Yep. You gonna jump up there, Kevin? Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Oh, it's like a glove. We don't need no nails. There you go. Good here. And I'm good. good. There. Tack it off. All right, that's a good look right there. And I think you saved about half the time by mitering. Yeah, I think we'll do them all that way. Okay. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.